hey guys welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title we are going to be doing a doyin slash korean inspired makeup look obviously doyin makeup is a chinese type of makeup look but i'm going to be taking some inspiration from both doyin makeup and korean style makeup i have been doing a lot of research and when i say a lot i mean like months of research um because this is something i really wanted to get right um so like a lot of the tools a lot of the techniques i've been doing like a lot of research and not only research but i've been watching videos and trying to imagine like how these tones would suit a darker skin tone and imagine what the darker version of the tones they are using would be so it's really difficult because i feel like yes there are videos out there but i feel like we could get it closer like we could really fine tune that exact look on deeper skin tones we're going to use a mattifying primer when you use a lot of skincare and you leave the oily areas the same as the dry areas it can get oilier after some time so we're just balancing things out so i'm going to use a lip balm to kind of just moisturize your lips whilst you're doing your makeup foundation you want to use a matte foundation and a lot of cushion foundations don't come in deeper shades so i'm going to be using the foundations i have you can use the foundations you have you don't have to go out and buy a new foundation i'm using the nyx total control pro foundation in the shade deep sable and i'm mixing it with a little bit of my concealer this is the Catrice Concealer in Warm Olive, just because this shade is a little, a little bit too dark for me. I'm going to use a spatula to mix these two shades together. Now, you don't have to use a spatula, you can always use your fingers. I was quite curious about the kind of spatula application, um, so I went out and got a spatula the main reason why i think they use spatulas in a lot of east asian makeup looks is because they apply their foundations in quite um thin layers and i think that keeps it from getting cakey but you can always apply your foundation in thin layers with your fingers like it's definitely not necessary to use a spatula but i was just curious about it the best way i found to apply your foundation with a spatula is to just kind of like slice it almost and pick up a tiny bit like this then almost just kind of go like spread it like butter on your face you want to use the edge you don't want to use the flat side and this kind of gives you a really thin application i'm going to be using a puff but you don't need to use this you can always use a sponge to blend this out it's basically a flat sponge usually i would do this before but i'm kind of like all confused today we're gonna go in with the color corrector this is the same catrice concealer it is in the shade warm spices i'm just gonna dot this concealer under my eyes basically the places where i have darkness and i want to correct the darkness I'm not gonna let that sit just because it's meant to color correct. It's not really meant to conceal. I'm gonna take a little brush and I'm gonna just blend it out into the corners where the puff can't reach. 
Now I'm gonna do a little bit of brightening concealer. You want the tiniest bit, like not too much because brightening concealers aren't really a big thing in Korean or Douyin makeup looks. But we do wanna add a little bit of brightness just to balance everything out. Because as darker skinned women, we're more prone to hyperpigmentation. We do need a little bit more brightening, but you don't want to use too much. I'm contouring using a cream, which is not that common in a, a East Asian makeup looks. So they usually use a powder contour. But I don't have one, so I'm using a cream. So I'm taking this kind of like angled brush and I'm just gonna dab it into the cream contour. So for the contour, you don't wanna go in that kind of like on your cheekbone. You wanna actually create an oval shape with the contour, making your chin quite pointy, cause that's kind of how they contour faces in East Asian makeup looks i feel like i did too much here <laughs> so i'm gonna have to like really blend this out for nose contour i'm taking the same contour I'm taking this kind of like big packer brush and i'm just dabbing a little bit into that contour i'm gonna go in a v shape I'm gonna go underneath my nose and then I'm also going to go on the dip of my nose and that is a lot but we're gonna blend it out I'm gonna blend it out with this This is why I love working with creams. They're just so easy to blend out. Like if I made that kind of mistake with powder, that would be the end. <laughs> We're also gonna do our, what's it called? Like filtrum, this area here. This is quite popular in Douyin makeup styles. Almost giving you that like funny nose effect <laughs> and then i'm gonna lightly go here with my contour as well you can use any setting powder you'd like i'm going to be using this translucent one from beauty bakery i'm taking a fluffy brush like this and i'm just gonna spread the setting powder everywhere Um, I'm gonna be going for a matte look today. I might do a more dewy, kind of inspired makeup look, but today we're going with a matte look. I'm also gonna set my nose. Now, I know a lot of you have probably noticed that in most East Asian makeup styles, huh? In most East Asian makeup styles, they have quite straight brows or a very straight arch. My brows aren't particularly super straight. I did shave them down a bit. They, I would say they're quite straight, but not super straight. So I think it works either way, whether or not my brows are straight. I'm gonna fill in the gaps ever so slightly. Now I'm going to use this brow gel, you don't want to slick them back, you just kind of want to brush them through so that whatever shape you've created actually stays there. If you have a very high arch, you might want to try brushing your brows downwards because that can make them appear more straight. But if you do that, you definitely want to use a brow gel because 
if your brows don't naturally grow downwards then they're just gonna stick back up the brows are okay the brows are fine but i want to make them a bit softer so i'm gonna take a straight brush like this it's kind of thin and straight and i'm gonna go into this dubious face palette and i'm gonna use this shade right here you can use a darker shade but you want it to be lighter than your skin and i'm just gonna press that into my brows So you can kind of see the difference between this brow and this brow. This brow is okay, but it's a bit dark. This brow looks softer, it looks more sparse, and it's just not as dense looking. So we're gonna match those brows up. First of all, I'm taking this shade in this Juvia's Place blush palette. It's just a shade that's close to my skin tone or exactly the same as my skin tone. This can be an eyeshadow if you have this in an eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna take a big packer brush and I'm gonna just pat this on my lid. Basically you want something that has a bit of pink and a bit of brown in it. I'm using this shade because I feel like it works quite well, but if you have a brown and a pink in, eyesh in an eyeshadow palette, you can mix those two shades together. I'm taking the same brush, but you wanna just tap maybe once or twice, pat it off because you really don't want too much of this shade. You just want a wash of color. So we're going to take a smaller brush, I'm taking a brush like this and I'm going to go in again with that shade, I'm going in on the bottom lash line, so you can see we have that shade on the bottom and on the top lid. Now you want to go in with a deeper shade, I'm taking that same Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. I'm going in with this warm shade right here and we're just going to press that in near the lash line. You don't want to go all over the lid, you just kind of want to do it almost like a messy thick eyeliner. But this is what it should look like. It should just be a slight darkness near your lash line. But next I'm going in with eyeliner. And we're gonna just start with the line here. I've got the two wings mapped out and I'm gonna just do a really, really thin line across my lid. For the lower lash line, we're gonna go back in with that shade we used near our upper lash line. And we're going, I'm going in with this incredibly tiny brush. You are going to need very small brushes for this makeup look. I'm going to start from where my pupil is. You want to curve that line upwards towards your eyeliner. You can collect, connect it with the eyeliner, as you can see here. You can connect it with the eyeliner or you can just leave that gap. I'm going to leave that gap, as you can see I've left a gap there. I have this Rem Beauty eyeshadow stick. This is in the shade Shooting Star. So that's the colour. And I'm basically going to start, let me zoom you in. So for the Agia style, I'm basically going to start from my inner corner here. And I'm going to just drag it across, kind of going downwards. And you 
you can also use this to clean up that lower eyeshadow and we just keep going downwards and there we go there we have it you can also squint to help you a bit to see where your egg yourself is when you squint you can see that line and that's where your egg yourself should be don't go any further than that line otherwise it is going to look like eye bags and to blend out the egg yourself i'm going to use a tiny little bullet brush and i'm just going to blend out the edges So I've done the egg yourself. Now we're gonna shade the egg yourself. We're gonna use the same little brush that we used on that lower lash line eyeshadow, and we're just gonna shade the egg yourself in the center. You can blend it in the edges, kind of, but make sure most of that shading is in the center, like basically where your pupil is, like right in the center and then blend it towards the edges if you go all the way across it's gonna look really really strange i guess you don't need to take on any more product on the brush just whatever you have left on the brush use that and just shade the under pop your egg yourself the last step to the eyeshadow is glitter. I'm taking this Huda Beauty um, Mercury Retrograde palette. You can use any palette, but you want to use a topper shade. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the tip of my finger. I just prefer the way my finger applies the glitter shade. And I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of glitter right to the center of my egg yourself you don't want to spread it all the way across you just want to put it right in the center and i'm gonna slightly tap on my lid and i'm doing this above my crease so in this area right here and not on my actual lid take a little bit of this galaxy shade with the brush we use to blend out our egg yourself and I'm going to put a little bit in the inner corner right there and kind of blend it upwards I'm using these lashes I got these from Sheen and I'm just gonna stick them on and then we'll be right back. So these are the lashes. They, to me, they look really nice and natural. So we're gonna move on to mascara and I'm using this Too Faced mascara. We're just gonna start with blending my natural lashes with these lashes. So now that our lashes are blending, blended with the false lashes, we're gonna go in with bottom lash mascara. Now this is a little bit fiddly, so you want to get a pair of tweezers. Um, I would suggest something. I would suggest maybe a blunt pair of tweezers because if you use a really sharp good quality pair of tweezers it might pull your lashes out if you're too rough with it so maybe like a flat pair of tweezers i'll make another video on this look and i'll um get a pair of flat tweezers and show you guys what i mean by that but just be careful when you're using tweezers on your on your bottom lashes so what I'm going to do first is apply the mascara on the bottom lashes first. You want to take some mascara on the tweezer, just like this. 
just say you have a little bit of mascara on the tweezers and then you're going to start clumping some of your lashes together with the mascara on the tweezers if a pair of lashes don't clump together don't really force it because if they're meant to clump together they will i'm still kind of practicing getting my lashes to clump together on the bottom but this is the best i can do i really do think i've done a good job um with the eyes so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna take this same palette and i'm gonna take this brown shade and this pink shade i'm just mixing them together probably gonna add a tiny bit of that red but mainly the brown shade and the pink shade i'm just gonna use this brush that i used to set my under eyes with and i'm gonna kind of go in the center of my cheek here and that's the blush i'm gonna use a tiny bit on the bridge of my nose so for lips I've done quite a lot of research for the lips. Um, obviously, we want that gradient effect, but I feel like a lot of people, they just use foundation or concealer. And the problem with that is that it doesn't really look like a lip anymore when you have foundation around the edges. So we are going to put a little bit of... Um, concealer around the edges of the mouth just a couple dots and we're going to pack that out with the puff next up we're going to take a matte lip liner now i actually got this tip from a korean makeup channel i will link the video in the description but it's a really good way to understand how to do that gradient lip for someone who has discoloration most of us who have deeper skin tones do have discoloration on and around our lips so it's definitely important to cancel out that discoloration whilst keeping the lips looking like lips so in the video they use a matte lip liner to kind of cover up that discoloration i i found two lip liners that really work for my skin tone if you are near my skin tone i've got these shades in the nyx line loud lip liner i've got the shade magic maker which is a this one here this one is magic maker it's a more cool toned shade so that's magic maker right there and then we have a more warm tone shade which is ambition statement and this is ambition statement right here that's a terrible swatch i think i'm going to use ambition statement today but you just want to kind of go into the areas where you have discoloration for me the center of my lips is lighter so i'm not going to go in there i'm just going to fill in the places that have discoloration on my lips you want to go light-handed with this because we're not looking for heavy pigment we're just looking to fill in that area so now you see my lip actually has the color of a lip instead of having the color of foundation. This is an optional step. I'm going to take a deep plum lip liner, Charlotte Tilbury. This is in Bad Romance. And I'm going to go in my inner corners here just to kind of give my lips a more 
a point to them my lips are quite rounded so i'm gonna just add this as as like a lip point now my lips look like they have a they come to a point a little bit more i know that those bright reds and bright pinks can be quite popular in both korean and doyin makeup but i'm starting to see more nude lips becoming popular um especially in korean makeup so i'm gonna go for a more pinky nude lip today i'm gonna start with this romand Le fudge tint and it's a matte tint i'm gonna swatch it for you guys so that is the shade right there it's a more cool tone shade and i'm just gonna put it in the center i'm gonna blend this out with a lip brush but you can use your fingers if you'd like Next, I'm going to go in with this shade called Plum Coke, and this is in the Juicy Lasting Tint. This is a bit more glossy, and this is the shade right here. It's a more cool toned red, but we're only going to apply a little bit. I'm just going to apply this Fenty Cream Gloss in the shade Fenty Glow and I'm going to apply it to the lighter part first and then in the center on the top lip I'm just going to apply it in the center and press my lips together and this is the finished look this is my doyin slash korean inspired makeup look let me know what you guys think about this makeup look comment down any questions you have Comment down any video ideas you want to see from me, any similar looks you want to see from me. If you want to see a cool toned version of this look, let me know and I will make sure to like take your ideas in and put out some videos for you guys. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.